hello my name is Manuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well in today's um, video I'm gonna get you started with Pupa add-on so I've gone ahead to create a quick character using make human and I have go ahead, gone ahead to install it or import it inside blender um, so this is what we're working on so in the previous video I showed you how to install Pupa and everything you need to know about the installation process to get started so in this tutorial we're looking at how to just get started using Pupa add-on itself so basically what we have here, we have um, several meshes. So we have the sky, we have this object, we have this, we have this, and we have this. Um, so make human makes, um, allows you to just, if you have like a clothing, it occludes the geometry underlying, um, underneath the clothing, um, which is okay for just getting started. Um, I'm going to also make more videos on more advanced stuff. So you should check out the playlist. The next video on the playlist should be covering that. Okay, so we have this um, big boy here and we want to use Pupa add-on to rig it. Um, so since this goal is to kind of create like a streamlined workflow like Mixamo, um, so that, that's exactly what you get. So you can select all the mesh you have here, go to Object, Apply the Rotation and Scale, and let's do Set Origin to Geometry, then we can go ahead and hit Assign. So currently we don't have any um, collection that this object belongs to. Um, so even if you have, it's just usually as advisable to start with a new collection. So let's just go and call this big boy. Uh, for this instance, we'll not be using the fingers. Um, so we'll talk about that in a later video. Um, but for now, we'll just uncheck that and hit OK. So this creates um, a reference um, version of the character that we can use to just place it and generate the rig. Um, so we can now go here and switch this to volume, enable the snapping feature, and then we can just drag each point to match the reference you've seen here. So once you have placed all the points, you want to make sure that everything is um, kind of in the volume of the geometry. So we'll just move this inwards to make sure it's inside the geometry and we'll check and make sure everything is aligned we'll also move this knee a bit forward to kind of create that um, knee pose because since this is going to be using an IK geometry we want the knee to kind of face this position and also if you want the knees to be outwards like this um, you also want to go ahead and just move this slightly and that's that okay so now once you're happy you can go to bind choose your bind method for this instance we use automatic weight and since we must have the boy collection which is the only collection we have currently and we can just hit ok and it's just going to go ahead and generate and bind our rig um, bind the character for us so it has gone ahead and done that and as you can see you have your character binded and you can just go ahead and select any random animation so let's just select it work and apply the animation so you can either be in the pose mode of the rig or you can just be in object mode and select the rig and it works so that'll be it for this tutorial um, check out more videos in this playlist so you can learn more about Pupa so thank you so much bye bye for now